Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Technics Media and today we are going to tell you how you can use your Samsung Galaxy Note 2 as a PC or a computer basically. Uh, you will need to buy some accessories for your Note 2, some minimal accessories for your Note 2 and uh, some of them you might already have and then you will be able to use it as a PC. So let's start this. First of all you will need a OTG USB adapter for your note 2 you can buy this kind of adapter from ebay or any other website for a very cheap price you can buy it from the nearby computer market near your place and you have to buy this one and then you have to either you want to buy or you may not want to buy uh, you can go for a speaker like this one which will actually take the sound out of your note 2 and it will behave like a speaker which are connected to your note 2 and then you will need a combo of a keyboard and a mouse I have this Logitech keyboard and this mouse both both of these uh, devices are actually getting connected with the PC with this USB dongle let's start how we are going to do this first of all I will eject the stand over here and will mount my Note 2 over here Okay, so I have mounted the Note 2 in this position. Now the main problem is that the orientation of the icons won't change. Uh, for this you will need to install applications like Rotation Locker which comes for free from the Android market. I can show you that. This is the Rotation Locker I am talking about. It comes for free and once you have this application installed you can force the orientation to landscape like this. So now you have the orientation to landscape. I have the speakers connected. Now I need this USB OTG cable basically to connect the USB dongle over here so that I can connect the keyboard and mouse which are over here. As you can see, they are a little bit out of the camera view. So let me just connect the OTG cable over here. With So as you can notice that the USB dongle is connected, the USB OTG adapter is connected and now I have both the mouse as well as the keyboard which are connected. So let's try using the mouse. So as you can see the mouse is actually working right now and let me just launch some application like this one. And if you want to go out of any application, if you want to go back to the home screen, you can always right click on the mouse. So what you can do is you can actually left click to launch an application and then you can right click to exit the application to go to the home screen again and you also can go to the all app store and then you can scroll in between them just like you do on a PC so you can press the left click button and then you can drag these icons from here and then you can go back to the home screen again by right clicking on the mouse using the right click on the mouse so let's do some thing which is which involves the keyboard and you can also use the scroller on the mouse to actually uh, switch in between the home screens as you can see and it is pretty fast and very responsive I must say okay so let's launch the messaging application so that we can use the keyboard so here we have the messaging application so let us suppose that you want to send a message to any of a friend and I'm going to use the keyboard now over here let's say that I want to send the message to my friend up here okay now I can start typing the message let me just okay So as you can see I am just using my keyboard which is actually a PC keyboard to type on Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and similarly you can play videos like this 
so I can send the message right away by using the mouse as you can see I can use my mouse let me just take the mouse inside the camera view so I can send this message right away like this and the message is sent so and you can always exit by right clicking the mouse as you can see I can right click and exit the messaging application so let's try playing some videos okay let me just go to the gallery again let me just go to the video player so we do have some videos let me just play this default video which comes on Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and other devices so as you can see I can turn on the sound right now so the video is playing I, I can control the playback with the mouse I can go to the next video from here I can change the orientation of the video playback as well as I can go back to a pop-up player as well I can keep playing this video like this and keep using other application so basically you can do almost anything by connecting your mouse and the keyboard with a USB dongle like this one uh, using an OTG cable adapter with your Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and you can also connect speaker like these the portable speakers which will act as a speaker for your Note 2 uh, the extended speaker for your Note 2 basically and this is how you can have uh, not a complete PC experience but little bit a kind of experience which is much closer to a PC experience which you would like to have on a Samsung Galaxy Note 2 Samsung so you can have you can actually take the advantage of the screen and you use this device occasionally like a PC like this in case you are not actually feeling like uh, using the touch screen with your fingers so you can do it like this as well do let us know if you have any questions related to this device uh, I hope you like this video please click the like button if this video help you in any way to get to know anything new and you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this that's all from us thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you